hey what's going on guys it might not seem like it to you but I am getting a little bit smarter I know I've mentioned it on the channel before that I can't cook until my kitchen is clean for whatever reason and of course that creates some problems because after I cook then I have to clean it again and just got this ongoing issue well what I did was I prepped a few things before I cleaned that I'm gonna be eating tonight that way I got a little bit of the dirty work out of the way you know if you have raw meat then you gotta wipe down the counters all that fun stuff so we'll get there eventually guys. One day I will be at full capacity and what we are going to do today is get rid of some of the foods that I have accumulated over the few weeks. The last few weeks, maybe like two or three I would say, all because of you. That is how you know it's real. The love between you and I. I go out and I spend my hard earned money on creative and unique foods to try to impress you. I hope that no one feels bad for me. I'm the one that gets to eat all this great food, but I really do end up with just some like random stuff after I buy all of it. So I'm gonna try to use up that today. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna make, but I think we'll figure something out. You'll win somehow. So give up on the battle, baby. It's hard. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna make here is some pita chips. I wish I could take credit for this, and I don't remember whose channel I saw it on. I apologize, but it wasn't me. That's all you need to know. So I took two Joseph's pita wraps, and I bought these when I was trying to make all those pizzas that one week to include in a video series. So I got a few of these left over, and I just cut them up into triangles, and this is all I've got left over here. So what I'm gonna do is spray them with some cooking spray. If I can Dude, there we go. And then throw some sugar and cinnamon on them and then throw them in the oven. So when you guys leave me food suggestions in my videos, what I'll do if I like the idea is I'll type it in my phone and then I'll go back and have a list of ideas on times like this when I just have a bunch of stuff and if anything fits what you guys suggested, then I'll make it. And <laughs> it's a pretty standard process for me. So someone suggested I make a chicken cordon bleu, which I'm disappointed in myself for not thinking of that because that was one of my all-time favorite foods when I was younger. I don't have everything to make it exactly perfect, but we will improvise a little bit and that's the take home message guys. If you see a little recipe you wanna do online or something sounds good, it doesn't have to be textbook. Have a little bit of fun in the kitchen, man. So we got a few servings of this sriracha hummus here. I don't think that you're supposed to do like a sweet pita chip with a savory, is this savory? I don't know, I just feel like if it's not sweet, it's gotta be savory, or am I wrong? I don't know, either way, we're gonna try this combination out and we'll see how it tastes. The hummus is very overpowering, but it'll work. All right, so here's the trick for you guys. If you're gonna be a macro hoarder and not use oil in the pan, what you're gonna have to do to finish up this breaded chicken is throw it in the oven at about 350, only for about 10 minutes just so the inside finishes cooking. And then with that skillet, we're just gonna throw this, what is it, chicken sausage in there in before cross-contamination. All right, so they're done cooking. Just gonna put them back in the oven since it's still hot. That'll let the cheese melt. Then we'll get everything put together here. Is this what you've been waiting for? Cause the gangsters love it and the ladies do too, man. I'll put this on my real life. It's something that just feels right. Yeah, you know the deal, cause really we never rest. Last night I was in the ER, x-rayed on my chest. Palm sweaty, running the fever, but nevertheless, I'm going through rhymes inside of my mind to relieve the stress. Come to find out, the doctor said I had a throat infection. Not to mention, I got a couple shows this week. Now how I'm supposed This beautiful thing I call the spaghetti dog was invented by you guys, essentially. You made me buy all this random food. And you just made me do it, so thank you, I appreciate it. I'm gonna enjoy that thoroughly. Then we got a little bit of leftover pasta. We got a few of those pita chips left, I was kind of chipping away at them. And then we got one heck of a chicken cordon bleu sandwich. We will see how this thing gets eaten, but it will. You guys don't have to worry about that. And of course, we gotta have some vegetables, we gotta be healthy. All right guys, it's time to dig in. I'm glad you guys cannot see all the food that's on my face, but this is awesome. Might have to wipe down the cutting board a little bit, but so far, so clean. We're doing well. What's up guys? You have already seen the last week of this training program that you're seeing workouts from. So let's go back in time and look at some of these workouts leading up to it. Because we saw the final result. It wasn't pretty. There was a lot of failing. However, 
in the process of all of that, there were some okay workouts, I will say. The reason that the camera is pointed at my feet is because I was really focused on the walkout during this workout. I was trying to be as efficient as possible because I knew it was going to be a really hard workout. And for the most part, I will say that it paid off. I still have a little bit of improving to do there. Just I, There's still a little too much jittering and moving around. I think I can get a little bit quicker at it and also just not take as many steps. But what you're going to see is 370 pounds for three sets of three, which is a volume PR for me. And you can see in some of these final reps, it was not easy. And this might have been one of the reasons that the final test week or peak week, whatever you want to call it, the week leading up to my big lifts, it just didn't go so well. I was really pushing my body pretty far, as you can see in these lifts. And I know I tell you guys not to comment on the pe on the people in the background of my workout videos, but I'm allowed to because it's my rules and I know this guy. He's my friend. He's just miring. Look at that. Just checking me out. I mean, can we just mire with him? I hate that word, by the way. Mire. Mire. It reminds me of going to the grocery store. Hey, let's go to mire. Anyway, Kroger's is a better grocery store, by the way. So finishing up here with my last set of 370 pounds, and this was a killer. And afterwards, I did have a few back off sets. So initially, I bumped it down to 350. I believe I hit that for a double, and it was just as hard as these triples. So the final set, I went to 330, and I think I hit it for five. Either I hit it for five, or I cut the clip to make it look like I hit five. So I could be lying to you guys. I don't really remember. I'd have to go back and look at the original clips, which I'm not going to do. So you're going to see it changes right here. Boom, camera tricks. That's what YouTube is all about. Fancy angles, thumbnail pictures, and ambiguous titles. So after the squats, I was pretty much finished with my workout. The only thing that I did afterwards were these stiff leg deadlifts on the deficit, which I did improve on during the training cycle. However, no one cares about that. Who, who's ever going to say, oh, I P PR'd on a stiff leg deficit deadlift? Nobody. It's ridiculous. So I'm not going to show you too much of this. I know that it is not all that exciting. Although, if you do these right, if you really control the negative portion, your hamstrings will be on fire. So moving into the next day, which was a bench press day, I was happy how this day went as well. So I'm using 265 pounds for doubles. And not that that's overly heavy weight, but it's moving pretty good, which is what I'm happy about. So I would say if I had to pick my best progression out of the three lifts, it would be the bench press, given that I did hit a PR at 285 pounds in this training cycle, even though it was not programmed for, which you guys heard time and time again. I was kind of just doing my own thing and it did not turn out in my favor when it was all said and done. Afterwards, I moved on to the OHP. Still working on this. I'm hoping to get consistent at it. There's times where, you know, I'll hit three sets of eight, and then times where I'll hit one set of eight, one set of six, one set of seven, something like that. I'm really trying to get it down to where I'm hitting at least eight reps every time with 135 pounds. And then I move on to the curls. The reason I want to show you this is because I keep my Romelios on to get maximal heel drive for the curls to really work on those biceps. If I can't use them to help my squat progress, I got to use them for something. And that is going to be the end of the video, my friends. We will be back with some dessert. I hope you guys really enjoy it. It was amazing. So try it out if you guys so please. Please like this video if you enjoy it. I would really appreciate that. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. I honestly did try to show you a little bit of myself eating that quarter blue sandwich. It was a struggle. I had to do some like weird maneuvers. It was, I should write a book on how to eat big sandwiches. It's, it really is a skill, but you acquired over some years and no person in their right mind would need dessert after that. However, I'm feeling like we need a little bit of something and I'm really craving a McFlurry from McDonald's, but that is no fun for you guys. So I guess I'm going to have to try to recreate it. I've tried before. You just can't do it, but Maybe like a, a more macro-friendly McFlurry? Maybe? Huh. I don't know. Healthy McFlurry? Nah. All right, I'm gonna try to be good. Same premise as the junk bowls. We're gonna take it easy on the base. We got just one pint of diet ice cream here. Stuff tastes like crap, but it's only 400 calories for the entire pint. We're gonna add some MTS peanut butter fluff, which tastes delicious. And we got some almond milk. And I'm actually gonna add some xanthan gum to try to make it a little thicker. And then we have some more fun things over there. Questions for you guys, just because it's on my mind. What is your favorite McFlurry? I was going between the Butterfinger and the M&M and I couldn't decide. So that's just my random question for you. And the other thing I wanna ask you is, do you guys 
ever remember the show The Band where P. Diddy brought all these people into a house. It was like the real world except they were trying to make a rap group. For some reason I started watching like the videos on YouTube, like the old episodes. I miss that show. That was such a great show. Did any of those rappers become anything? So we just threw a few ice cubes in there as well. Here goes nothing. All right, that's actually a pretty good consistency. Drop tints on the windows of the limo. Can you picture what my life like? Fly mobs to that's work, spaghetti bowls. I ain't try to tell y'all what y'all already know. So I got one of these Dick's Last Resorts mugs last summer when I was there, and I lost it when I moved, so I had to go back yesterday and pick up a new one. If you've never been there, it is awesome. It's hilarious. But anyway, this tastes delicious. Very impressed with it, but of course, we still gotta add a few other things. I told you we're gonna make this macro friendly. We got fiber. Tell me they ain't find my market yet. I'm not a rapper, I'm an English architect. Plus, I got a little niche for picking the ill beats. No sleep, I'm a seat of narcolepsy. <laughs> hey, yo, my taste is absurd. Champagne spilling with a plate of hors d'oeuvres. Come at me, McDonald's. You're not gonna get marshmallows there. I pushed the Three Musketeers down to the bottom, so I'll get that surprise Three Musketeer, hopefully, in most of the bites. And I can tell you that this is seriously. Amazing and take this from someone that has actually eaten a McFlurry not too long ago Maybe uh, two or three weeks ago. I feel like most people that make these like healthified desserts I don't they haven't had a McDonald's McFlurry since like Nixon was in office So they don't really know what's good, but trust me. I'm gonna have this. It's gonna be awesome I still got some left over and to get this much volume at McDonald's so a McFlurry that have like this much McFlurry you'd be looking at maybe 2,000 calories I'll tell you guys what this is. I'll figure it out. I didn't track the marshmallows in the Cool Whip. There's barely any at all in accounting. We call that immaterial. So barely any significance to this meal. But you will see that it's about 840 calories for all of that. Now, realistically, if you're an average person, you could probably break that into four servings. So if we look at that, divided by four, what is that? 210 calories, 30 carbs, about 7 fat, and 10 protein. That is pretty legit. And just for fun, I went ahead and logged all the stuff that I had as the main course. 2,100 calories, 258 carbs, if I could focus, 46 fat, 148 protein, and for the day, there we have it. It was a pretty good day, my friends. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. My stomach's full, my kitchen is semi-clean so we done good I hope that you guys enjoyed this please like the video if you did that really does help me out thanks for taking the time to watch this video seriously thank you I know that I say it a lot but I really do appreciate that you guys do take that little you know 5 10 15 whatever it is that amount of time out of your day to watch me run my mouth so I'll talk to you guys in the next video